Hello, I'm sitting in front of the C-SPAN Mobile Command Center. It's just getting ready to launch. We had several classes come through, so really? probably somewhere in the range of, you know... What kind of classes were they? Uh, there was, uh, some folks were in, in English and other folks were uh, in history and stuff. We've also made some visits to, throughout the week we've made visits to high schools and, and things like that. So this You're on today. right now in my <laughs> You're on his camera. Yeah. Right cool. Yeah. No, check it in wondering. the morning in Washington Journal. Literally a lot of times I'll wait for my caretaker and watch Washington Journal. Oh, that's great. And that's the way, yeah. especially when people get feisty when they call in like a lot of Tea Party people. Uh, Hey, how's the bus? It's nice. Hi. Uh, how did you like it? Nice. I like the content of having it for free. Man. Oh, yeah, really? Okay, great. I'm going to go take a look. Oh, man, I'm going into the C-SPAN bus. Oh, oh, hey, welcome. Hi. I'm John, C-SPAN. You are? And I'm Joe. Joe. This is astounding. We have You've got, got, wait a minute, up, right? Yeah, this, it, you got your TVs. <laughs> There's probably like, you press a button and a bar rises. This thing is probably a hydraulic thing and a bar rises up, doesn't it? It is not, and but that's you, a good idea. And I'll tweet it to yourself. Bernanke, man, that guy's a bum. So what is it I should learn from the C-SPAN bus? Why does the C-SPAN bus come here? Well, I think the main thing is, to, as I was just, you we were just talking about the yeah. video library. Yeah, video library is a treasure. But the bus itself is um, its an awareness vehicle for the network. We showcase, uh, you know, we're kind of have the face been, of the network on the road. Have there been any uh, celebrities in here? Like has Obama ever been in here? Uh, you know what, I don't think he has been. Um, but we've had the candidates, it's been to different candidates. Oh, the events. candidates have been in here? We've had Mitt Romney was here. Mitt Manager. Romney, where, where did he sit? Did oh, he touch he just, anything? He walked in, took a he look. He walked in here? Did he touch anything? Uh, yeah. No, I can't remember if he touched anything. Well, let, me see, Tim let me see here. if I can get any vibes. Yeah. Mm. No, no, wait a minute. Mm. So, is this that place where Libby was drunk that night when <laughs> no. she was transmitting no. from? No. Oh, no? <laughs> okay. Good. Times this morning, people called up and they asked about, if you're hit by a bus, you could end up in an emergency room in Obamacare, you need Obamacare. So what I want to know is, how many people have you hit on this bus on your no. journey? <laughs> Well, fortunately, that have required. I, I would probably. I'm not a good driver of this bus, so I would. I. So I should ask the driver. Maybe right. he's picked off like a dozen. Well, no, dozen? he's not picked off any. He's outstanding. Fortunately for us, he's an outstanding okay. driver. So you're sure that you have not pinned anyone under this bus in um, the entire trip since you left Washington D.C. in August? I have not pinned anyone under okay. the bus. Okay, no, is there I an assistant not. driver who? Yes, who? but we, he has, has, not, he pinned, he has not pinned anyone under okay. the bus either. Good to know. All right. Hey, take care. Hey, thanks a lot. All right. Oh, my God. I, I need Obamacare. I've been hit by the C-SPAN bus. Yeah, if you want to listen to it. Oh, there's a thing to listen. Yeah. Listen. Hello? <laughs> Obama? Yeah, approve it. All right. Thanks. Oh, you for that right. You made me nervous there. He, has Libby ever been in this bus? Libby, uh, well, I'm just saying, she, I'm oh. trying to think if she's been on it, and I don't think the answer is no. Oh, darn. Because I wanted to touch something that she touched. Yeah. Mm. How's about Ron Paul? Has he ever been in here? Ron Paul has been on it. Oh, he has? Yeah, he's been around the bus in, in New Hampshire. And he's been over the course of the last yes. four years on four years ago. Yes, I know. I feel freedom. Maybe he wore this. Yes, I feel the freedom. The different programs on our network. Why we is cover. This Michael Moore? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought we were trying to. Show me. I thought we were trying to kill me. Now it's a. Uh, it's we show everything. It's a beautiful picture. You can uh, create that awareness about how they can use C-SPAN to find out what's going on with the government, what they do with the information up for them. Hmm. This bus is capable of beaming your signal to the headquarters in Washington, D.C. This allows the officials in Washington to disregard your feelings at the speed of light. So, would you mind if I jump in there and take it for a spin around the block? No, if you do that, I might have to, uh... <laughs> oh, okay. 
I guess that'd be no. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> because I might hit somebody. That's right, and we wouldn't want you to do that. No, but then they would need Obamacare. No, I, I don't have anything to do with Obamacare. I... I'm standing in front of the C-SPAN command center bus. Or, I'm standing in front of the uh, C-SPAN command center. Mobile. Hello. Hello. I'm standing in front of the C-SPAN mobile command center. I think that's what it is. Thanks for tuning in. Is the satellite dish deployed now? Are you beaming a signal back to headquarters? No. No, we, we don't even have the ability to, to beam it back to headquarters. There's no beaming? No. No beaming. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I don't have anything to do with Obamacare.